Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well, we're going to be looking and working with the Divi Supremes plugin here, and you can download it from my affiliate link below this video. There's a free version as well as a paid version. And we're going to be making this little sort of—it's an image hotspot. And what it is, it's an image that allows you to put hotspot tooltips anywhere on the image that you want and you can do icon ones you can do text ones really easy to do and a nice little feature if you want to highlight some things so let's get started what I'm going to do is enable the visual builder of course I'm using that awesome Divi theme here by elegant themes if you want to take it for a test run you can do so from my affiliate link below this video also also Okay, so I'm going to go down below this one that I've just created. I'm going to add a new module. Just click on the little dark plus icon there to add the module. By default, Divi comes with all these light gray ones. Just about everything to build a, a site right there. The purple ones are from the Divi Supreme plugin, which is what we'll be working today. And here's some more that come as standard with Divi. And I want the one that says image hotspots there it is so I'm just going to click on it and as you can see it opens up in a little window there let's decide what image we want for the background get something that's halfway interesting let's grab that computer right there okay there we have it now what I need to do is add a hotspot on item so I'm going to click on add item right here and if you expand the hotspot you can choose from an icon or you can have text we'll have icon for this first one we'll do a text in a minute and let's just choose an icon use any of these elegant themes ones right here i guess i'll use that one and as you can see it's put it right there i'll make it stand out a little bit more in a second and then for the actual tooltip that opens up from it, let's get a bit of text. Have I got a bit of text down here? I'll just steal a bit of text. And I'll paste a bit of text in there. And what we'll do is I'll use that first bit as a title. Let's put a capital G on there. I'll make this a heading two. Now when I roll over that, you can see it's got that heading and everything in there. And you can add images by adding media. You can link to stuff by adding links, obviously. Just like any text WordPress editing thing. So there's our little thing, but I want to make it stand out a little bit more than that. So let's go to our design. And let's have a look at our hotspot settings. Firstly, where do I want it to be? We can move it up and down with these. There's more over to the right there. Move it to the left and move it up a little bit. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna want to have it a lot bigger than that though. It's already got round corners and everything. That's fine. Don't want to put a border on there. Hotspot icon. Let's make it a lot bigger so we can see it a lot easier. There we go. I'll put a little bit of box shadow on it also. There we go, that stands out nicely. Now the actual text itself, it's absolutely fine, but you can edit it, edit it like, like any other thing you can edit it, you can change the color, you can change the size, you can do what you want with it here. I'm going to leave mine just as it is here. We've put the hotspot pretty much where we want it. The icon, we've adjusted the size to what we want, icon color. Well, white's what I want. We've got the tool tip settings right here, background color, 
that's black at the moment that works for me I mean we could change it to blue or something but I think black's fine well blue works pretty well too if you want to you can change the tooltip heading text and body text I just want to go back to our content and I want to change this background color here so let's go to background and let's put in well I guess I'll put it blue because I made something else blue didn't I the background blue how's that there we go and I'll call that one done so I'm gonna hit the check mark on that one now if we want to add another new one let's add a bit of text down here or something add a new item this time I'm gonna say I'm on the hotspot tab I'm gonna say text and I guess we'll just say click here and again inside the tooltip paste that bit of text right there you put in anything like I say you can put in an image whatever you want there's that text it's appeared right there and again it's got a background if you want no background just go down to the background and click on the color pull the opacity all the way down that makes it transparent and you can't see the the color there but I do want a bit of color because I can't see that very well but perhaps not quite as dark as that let's make it so we can see it but we can see the image as well that's fine so if we pop over to the design tab here and we can move it just like we move the other one a hotspot settings there we go we'll pop him right there I'm not even going to change anything else if you want to actually link any of these modules to anything you can do by just putting a URL in here but we at the moment for me I just want it to be a pop-up so let's save that let's save our changes save the page changes exit the visual builder go down to where we were and this is what we've got we've got our nice little tooltip pop up there with the icon and we've got just a text one here which is great and the one above I've because it's on a dark background I've got no background on the text that works absolutely fine that's a nice little feature to have on your site and of course if you've got a big one you can have a map with locations and stuff nice little feature so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful like I say you can download the Divi Supreme plugin from my affiliate link below this video once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day